It's Ted here. I'm in my backyard. I've got a Mercury six horse four stroke here. A uh, gentleman wants me to go through it. It, uh, I guess he laid it down on the wrong side and oil leaked out of it. He's a little nervous about that. So we're going to check that out. It's also been a few years since the water pump was changed. So we're going to do that. And you know, I'm going to just change the oil while it's here, the gear loop. Uh, just give it a once over. The other thing I was trying to look at the picture he sent of the ID tag, which is external and uh, really couldn't read it. So I'm going to show you also where you can find the serial number. So let's take a look. Okay, so here it is. Uh, it's a six horsepower. I think the block is also four horsepower as well. And the model year from the tag is 2001. I'm going to kind of zoom in here. And this is the picture he sent me. So here's the tag, and I think that it is ORO21563, but it's kind of faded, and the picture he sent it wasn't real clear. It is a 2001 engine, so we're going to zoom back out here, and I'm going to go over to the other side, and I'll show you where you can get the serial number off this engine. So it's nice about these newer ones. They give you the spark plug number and the gap. You know, that looks new. And here is the... You know carburetor on it and then here is a casting stamp and that actually has the number on it so if we zoom in on that a little bit I can definitely now see it's O R O two one five six three as I thought I read but the R is very difficult to read so if you if the tags missing then that's where you're gonna find that ID tag the rest of its emissions um, fuel pump here. If the fuel pump fails, sometimes fuel will uh, enter into the engine. So the other thing it'll do is if it fails, obviously the diaphragm fails. Or there's a check valve in here that gets stuck and it won't deliver fuel. So an easy check for that is to take the fuel line off, put it in a container, pull it over several times and see if a steady stream of fuel comes out when it's hooked up to a fuel tank. You know, your filters right here will change that. That looks pretty mucky to me kind of old so we'll order that get a pump kit for it um, and then we'll do the uh, lower unit I'll show you the lower unit change we'll pull that off to a water pump gear lube change pressure test it um, and then we're gonna check the oil level and see if the carburetor had any oil in it try to start it up we'll go through that that'll be the second video uh, coming up after I get the parts for this and I'll go through this six horsepower four stroke mercury if you like this video, look out for the second one coming up. Uh, hit that subscribe and like button, and I'll see you soon.